Proof of concept programs for autonomous mobile robots. Well, joining us today to speak about that is Ed Romain. Ed is Vice President of Marketing and Business Development at Conveco. Ed, long time since we've seen each other. Good to see you again, welcome. Well, thank you very much, glad to be here. Ed, for anybody who's not entirely familiar with Conveco, uh, just tell us briefly, what is the company all about? What's the area that it focuses on? Sure. Conveco Technologies is a systems integrator within the order fulfillment and distribution center market. We're handling all types of solutions from multiple products to total systems. Okay, so now let's talk about these, uh, this proof of concept program in the AMR space, the autonomous mobile robot space. Why do we have such a program? What do you say? Well, autonomous mobile robots, AMRs, are fairly new to the industry. There are so many, so many different types, so many different applications. Organizations have been constantly asking us, okay, how do we know what's right? How do we know what the best system will be and how will it work for us? Uh, what do you tell them? <laughs> Basically, that's why we, we created the proof of concept program, the POC program. You'll walk us through it. We use a seven step methodology in which we go through starting with data collection and working our way down. We're not a manufacturer of AMRs, once again, we're a systems integrator, so we basically match our customers' needs and what their business requirements are to the right piece of equipment and the right design and the right solution. And that's, we work right down that process from data to proofing, we then do an emulation to show the different steps in it. And the beautiful part about AMRs, and what makes it different than other traditional material handling, is that when we do a proof of concept, we can take the elements that are used and then use them again in the final product. Unlike other types of systems in which once you would do a proof of concept, the best part of it would be wasted and not used in the future, AMR is wrapped straight up. So it becomes a really cost effective and quick way of figuring out the system. Develop that a little bit more. How do you use that in the final product? What did you mean by that? Sure. Uh, robots, workstations, whatever software, the controls, the elements that are required to do the proof of concept, it's, the proof of concept is just a scaled down version of what the final system would look like, allows you then to take that work that you've done. You've developed the controls, you've developed the software. You can then take that and simply scale it up. So AMRs are great for rapid response and rapid deployment. This makes it even that much faster. Hmm. Okay, so this is interesting. You're going to be speaking to potential customers who are fairly familiar with automated material handling equipment. That's going to be kind of the, where they're coming from, and you're going to tell them that the AMR is going to be better for them in some way or another. So they want to hear, what's your argument? What do you tell them? Why AMR rather than what they already know? Well, to be very honest with you, part of this process is, is going through the analysis and the business case. If we find that an AMR is not the best solution, we'll move off of that and we go to the best solution. If it is an AMR, we then tell them why, we demonstrate why that's the right reason, what the benefits will be, what the business case will then uh, prove out to be, and then we go into the proof of concept program where then we build the actual proof of concept, the scale down model, to be able to show, to be able to test different processes and procedures, and you can take that up to various levels, from very simple to very complicated proof of concept, which then takes you right into the full system. Okay, so you've intrigued me. I want you to now embark on that. So how do you make the, this proof of concept program work? Walk me through that. Sure, well, it starts with the data analysis and the business case understanding. We go from there, we look at what the applications are, what the products, the velocity, the sizes, the weights, what existing labor do you have, what's the goal and desired labor that was required, what's the daily um, time cuts that are required, how many shifts, all these, those data points and many, many more go into the actual analysis to then determine, okay, we need this type of AMR to be able to do this type of system. We need the flexibility because you have peak. We need times which will be slower, so that might mean we need a different type of technology. We might use multiple AMRs, different types of AMRs, to accomplish the same application. So it's really developing that recipe 
for success for that customer. Is there a general time period for uh, working out this proof of concept program? How long does it take, I guess is the question. It all depends upon what the final output and the final system. A simple order fulfillment system, a proof of concept can be done in just a few months. Um, sometimes the sortation can take uh, a little bit more. It really depends on the size, the scale, the complexity. Because when you start with an application, very often you wind up with the systems that feed it, the systems that take it away. So it's hard to put a tight time frame. But AMRs are great for rapid response. When you combine that, if you're doing sortation and you are going to put in a cross belt or a tilt try your other solutions. And AMR is going to be a much faster deployment than traditional material handling equipment. All right, Ed, final question. Let's talk about limitations. There must be some limitations to AMRs and to the applications, you know, that, uh, you know, where they're employed. So walk us through that. What do you say? Well, like any technology, it, there's always limitations. Some do it best, some don't do it best, which is why we do that data analysis, we do the business case analysis from the get-go. Because if, if an AMR is not the solution, we're quickly going to state that, show, tell why and show why, and then move on to what it, what it meets. But the AMRs for a lot of applications we're finding are just a perfect fit. They're flexible, they're scalable. The scalability is just unreal. You can turn around and double or triple your velocity requirements in a weekend. That, that type of system, that you're not going to get that from standard material handling, and you're not having systems that are bolted onto the floor. So the AMRs definitely have an advantage, but to your point, it's not a cure-all for everything. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the most interesting presentation you've just made, and I suspect any number of viewers are now considering this very thing. Ed, thank you so much for finding the time to speak with us here. Thank you very much. I thank you very much. That's Ed Romain, Conveco, speaking with us today about proof of concept programs for autonomous mobile robots. Perhaps one is in your future. Thanks for watching.